right, all the snow action across America was in North Carolina and Tennessee today. So we'll start with pictures from North Carolina and at six o'clock. I'll show you some pictures from Tennessee, but actually a pretty nice picture there. Driving, everything seems calm on a snowy day in Oak Hill, North Carolina. Let's take a look at the national map and talk about that cold front coming here in a minute. But I want to show you something. Here's Oak Hill, still some lingering rain and snow there. See this? this is a new feature here on uh, Channel 3. This is actually showing wind uh, components. So area of low pressure off the uh, coast of North Carolina. You can see the wind uh, arrows going around it. So when you see these uh, maps now, you see these little specks there. You can see them behind me also. That's the wind, wind and wind direction. So as we take a look down here in Texas, not a lot of wind. We like that. And here comes our next front. That's the front that will be here on Sunday and looks like will bring us some beneficial rain. Look what's back, our LexCam, a live picture, 59 right now after a high of 60 and winds a light breeze out of the east northeast at, at 10 miles per hour. Look at all those 50s up there. 59 here in Corpus Christi, 57 in Port Aransas, 59 in Beeville. Everybody else is in the, well, 57 too in Foul Furious. Everybody else in the low 60s, topping out at 63 in Robstown. All right, mainly clear skies. Uh, another very nice but cool evening in store tonight. Mainly clear and cold in the morning. Cold because of the little bit of wind along with the chilly temperatures and then the changes start. Look at this increase in clouds during the day tomorrow, especially during the afternoon, especially between three and six around this time tomorrow afternoon. And there it is. Look at that significant rain in the forecast on Sunday, followed by that front that will be here mid to late afternoon on Sunday. Now, how much rain we're looking at? We've been saying the past couple of days could be an inch plus, and then yesterday was between one and two inches. Well, look at what we're looking at now. Look at Refurio and Rockport and Port Aransas all expecting a forecast of over two inches of rain here in Corpus Christi will take over an inch and a half inch and three quarters in Sinton. Look at all those inch pluses of rain. Kingsville Alice also so looking good for a lot of us here over the weekend on Sunday and there you have it's definitely going to rain 90% chance. Unfortunately, Sunday will be it for the rain until at least not next week, but the week after next. We're looking at the week of Martin Luther King Day, so that's a couple of weeks. So we're talking about a week to 10 days. So let's see if we can get that good rain here coming through on Sunday and make it last. All right, lows in the morning. Again, the white numbers are the actual forecast temperatures. The yellow numbers will be the feel like. So 41 here in Corpus Christi, it's going to feel like 35. But again, George West, 34 and 29. Refurio 35 and 31, Beeville 35 and 30, Sinton 38 and 32. So some chilly temperatures when we wake up tomorrow. And then tomorrow, increase in clouds and cool. High temperature tomorrow, 60. Everybody, for the most part, will be in the 60s tomorrow, upper 50s to low 60s, topping out at 64 and foul furious. Water temperature is 61. No advisories for the bays for the Gulf. Sun up at 722. We'll have a high tide just before 3 tomorrow afternoon and uh, look at that seven day forecast. Whoa, look at that near freezing temperatures for some of us, especially on Monday and Tuesday mornings. Update at six.